you know, read history. Humans are just unfortunately very imbalanced. And it's just, it's going crazy right now. And things come around. It's just, we have to ride it out. You know, we might survive it, we might not. This is what humans do. They just ride out this stuff. But there's a lot of imbalance in, in the world. There's a lot of imbalance on the planet. People are very out of balance. You know, they're walking around in states of just total imbalance. You know, what we're doing, how we're treating each other, how we're treating, I mean, just the trees. I mean, I think of, you know, the trees, 300,000 fruit trees have been uprooted in Palestine. What's their crime? What did they do? 300,000 fruit trees. What did they do? And then you wonder why that hadith says, you know, there's a Jew behind me, come kill him in Sahih al-Bukhari. I mean, what would I say if I was a tree about ready to be pulled up and I could talk? Get rid of this character. You know, get, get rid of him. Why is he doing this to me? What did I do? You don't think trees have a right to be here? Trees worship God. Trees don't have any legal rights. They have rights. Trees have rights. Prophet never harmed a tree. Aligning yourself with heaven is what Islam is about. You know, get back into order, get back into harmony. That's why we're supposed to pray with the sun, get up with the sun, go to bed with the sun, be in order. Be So, I mean, my advice to myself and all of you is just try to find some order in your lives. You know, go walk, go commune with, I mean, it's incredible what it, what an incredible world. You look at it, it's just awesome. What a glorious day. What perfection. It's everywhere, except in this one odd figure out, the human. <laughs> you know, he's the only thing mucking it all up. It's all perfect. Frogs are having five legs now. Did you read that, right? They're all getting mutated. What did they do? What did the frogs do? Really? The father. I mean, they're difda. And that's what they're called in the Quran. <laughs> what did the difda do? You know, it just wants to worship God. That's all they want to do. They just want to worship God. And now they're mutating because all these chemicals and all this horrific stuff people are doing. Then really, have you experienced nature? And that's what going out and looking at the moon. Look at the moon. Have you ever seen a new moon born? It's called Wilada. It just, it comes into existence. Literally, just comes into existence. And it's an incredible thing to witness. And when you see it, there's this thing that happens in you. That's what happens. And that's why Allah is saying, go out and look at that because I made that. And that is a sign of my existence. Go out and look at it and say, subhanallah. Feel that because that is reality. That is you as a conscious creature with this gift of consciousness experiencing the Creator's world that He made for your consciousness. He has put it all together so that you could experience it because nobody else can. We are unique. محمد سيد الكونين والثقلين والفريقين من عرب ومن عجم محمد سيد الكونين والثقلين والفريقين من